Which injector is right for you? Fuel injectors are the workhorse of an EFI system. They handle the fuel delivery duties and are a critical component when it comes to building a successful EFI system. But with such a wide array of flow rates, design specs, connector styles, and impedance ratings, choosing the correct injector can leave you scratching your head. Follow along and I'll walk you through the injector basics and give you some insight on how to choose the best injector for your setup. The first thing we'll cover is injector impedance. Simply put, impedance means how much current it takes to make the injector open. Injectors are basically a solenoid. They use an inductive load to open them and can be categorized as either low or high impedance. You can determine the impedance of your injectors by measuring the resistance in ohms with the multimeter across the terminals found on the injector. The ECU that you're using will determine which style of injector you need to use and you should never mix components between the two systems. Holly's Terminator X ECUs support high impedance injectors, while our Dominator and HP ECUs can control both high and low impedance setups. One of the biggest advantages to using a low impedance injector is its ability to open and close much quicker. It takes 6 to 12 amps to open the injector initially, but after that the current can be reduced to about 1 to 2 and a half amps to keep it open. Because of the low resistance to open a low impedance injector, the spring pressures to keep the pintle closed can be increased. And the extra spring pressures make the injector close even faster. Lower resistance and higher spring pressures result in faster opening and closing times, making injector tuning easier, especially when using high flow injectors. Low impedance injectors are typically used in high performance applications where the fuel demand is high. This includes engines that are designed to turn at high RPMs, have large cubic inch displacement, are using forced induction, or when choosing fuels like E85 or alcohol. The driver circuitry that's used to control low impedance injectors is referred to as a peak and hold circuit. This type of system incorporates a resistor pack for proper operation and to help protect your ECU from high current spikes. A peak and hold controller initially applies high current for a short period of time to open the injector quickly. Once the injector is open though, the current can be reduced to keep it open. The lower current draw allows the injector to close faster and lowers the operating temperature, which can increase the reliability. Peak and hold circuitry is typically only found on purpose-built race engines. It's more complex and therefore more expensive to produce. High impedance, also known as saturated injectors, are the most popular injectors used by vehicle manufacturers today. Their popularity is due in part to the simplicity and low cost of the driver circuitry. High impedance injectors typically use around 11 to 12 amps to open them and maintain that amperage to keep them open. There's no need for expensive circuitry or resistor packs like what is needed for the low impedance injectors. Higher operating temperatures due to the higher current that's required to keep them open can be a downfall though. High impedance injectors also tend to be a little harder to tune due to their slower fuel delivery and inconsistencies within their dynamic range. This is especially true when using higher flow rated injectors. The next thing to consider is what type of connector your injector uses. There's a variety of connectors out there with some OEM specific ones as well, but the older EV1 and the newer EV6 styles are the most common. Remember, your connector choices are gonna be dependent on the connector styles that are offered by the EFI system that you choose to run. Holly has injectors and injector harnesses for a wide variety of popular injector styles. And depending on your engine management system, you may be able to swap out to injectors with a different connector style with a simple sub-harness swap or by using injector adapters. Adding aftermarket upgrades like a set of headers, a new intake, a larger profile camshaft, cold air intake, or even a turbo or supercharger can increase your engine's horsepower potential and thus increase its fuel demand. Switching fuels can also affect flow demand, especially when running E85 or alcohol. Anytime you remap the ECU or upgrade engine components, you should always recalculate your engine's fuel demands using the brake-specific fuel consumption method. A good way to determine whether or not you've exceeded your injector's flow capability is to look at the injector duty cycle. Duty cycle refers to the amount of time the injector is being energized versus the amount of time it's dead. A properly sized fuel injector typically operates in the 80 to 85% duty cycle at maximum RPM. In racing applications though, a 40 to 60% duty cycle is more desirable and requires larger injectors to get all the fuel required into the cylinder in a shorter amount of time, 
Optimizing injector end angle. Upgrading your fuel injectors for ones with a higher flow rate can reduce duty cycle and optimize injector end angle. This helps prevent damage from a lean condition and can optimize the air fuel ratios throughout the entire RPM range. At Holly, you can find injectors with flow ratings from 15 to 220 pounds per hour for use with pump gas, race fuel, and alcohol. Make note though that most high flow injectors are of the low impedance design. So make sure that your EFI system is compatible before you buy. Injector height is another factor to consider before purchasing your next set of injectors. The intake manifold and fuel rail design that you choose will dictate the height of the injectors required. Most product instructions can provide you with the information that you need to determine which injectors you need to use with that setup. Some intakes have provisions for multiple injector heights, but most of them only offer one. Holly offers intakes designed for use with a variety of popular fuel injectors. Most of our intakes use the EV1 style injector, but we do have some that have provisions for the LS3, LS7 injectors as well. We also have adapter kits that allow you to run the LS3 and LS7 injectors in a manifold that was designed for the EV1 height injectors. The last topic we're gonna to cover is port size. The injectors need to match the injector port size found on your intake manifold and fuel rails. The O-rings should fit tight enough for a leak-free seal under the high pressures of the fuel system without causing damage during the install. Be sure to check the O-rings for any nicks or damage, and don't forget to apply a quality lubricant to the O-ring before installation. Doing your research and making an educated decision can save you some time and frustration when it comes to selecting or replacing the injectors in your engine. To learn all about our fuel delivery components and EFI systems, visit us at holly.com.